When hikers in the Ötztal Alps stumbled on a body melting out of a glacier in September 1991, they thought they had found an unfortunate mountaineer who had disappeared perhaps a couple decades prior, but as soon as it was revealed that the mummified remains dated back 5,300 years, researchers knew they had to solve the most fascinating ancient forensic case ever found. Nicknamed Utzi, the Iceman, and Frozen Fritz, the body of man who was around 40 to 50 years old when he died in the Copper Age continues to generate new data about a past era and shows links to contemporary people. In honor of the 25th anniversary of his discovery, here are 13 surprising facts about Utsi. Two countries fought over him. Utsi might very well be the oldest person ever subject to a custody dispute. He was discovered in a part of the Alps mountain range that is right on the border between Austria and Italy. Complicating the find is the fact that the glacier in which he was entombed for millennia has shrunk since the official country border was established in 1919. Originally, Utzi was studied at Innsbruck University in Austria, but since 1998 he has been displayed and studied at the South Tyrol Museum of Archaeology in Bolzano, Italy. His death may have been recorded. In 1991, an upright, carved stone was found in the town of Laces, near the Ötztal Alps where the Iceman was discovered. Although the stone was reused in modern times for the altar of a church, it dates to the Copper Age, just like Utsi. One of the carvings on it depicts an archer shooting an arrow into the back of an unarmed man, which bears striking similarities to how scientists know Utsi died. This circumstantial evidence, though, has not convinced most researchers. He was sick before he was killed. Even though Tsi was comparatively old when he died, he was not exactly healthy. Whipworm parasite eggs were found in his gut contents, so he probably suffered from nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, and one fingernail was found to have bows lines, which are created when the immune system is compromised. Utsi's fingernail shows he was seriously ill several times in the four months prior to death. He carried a first aid kit. Since Utsi died while going about his daily life, the artifacts found with him give us a snapshot in time. Two particularly curious objects were spheres of botanical material about the size of walnuts that were strung on leather straps. Analysis of the masses indicated they were a fungus called Pictoporus pitilinus. Notably, this fungus, if eaten, both causes diarrhea and can protect against certain mycobacteria. He holds their record for oldest tattoos in the world. The mummy boasts 61 different tattoos, and they are the oldest physical evidence of tattooing in the world. While the Iceman does not have mom on his biceps or a butterfly on his lower back, his tattoos are still quite interesting. They were made by scratching his skin and rubbing charcoal in the fresh wound, resulting in groups of lines or crosses. It has also been suggested that their placement over joints may have been an attempt to treat pain, as the oldest tattooed person ever found, Utsi holds a Guinness World Record. He wore a variety of leathers and hides. Long before Dolce and Gabbana dressed dapper Italian men, Utsi was mixing materials to create his clothing. A study published this August finally revealed the variety of species used to make Utsi's outfit. He wore a loincloth of sheepskin, leggings and a coat of goat hide, and a brown bearskin hat. Even his accessories were diverse, his shoelaces came from wild cows and his quiver from roe deer. He was an early adopter of technology. Utsi's field kit held a surprising number of different tools. There was a copper-bladed axe, which marks him as high status a flint dagger and its tree fiber sheath, and a bow made out of a yew tree. He also carried cylindrical containers made of birch bark, a kind of copper age Tupperware that kept charcoal embers hot for hours so he could quickly make a fire. His teeth were worn particularly on the left side, meaning he may have used his mouth to help work leather. The Iceman's hair also revealed high levels of arsenic, suggesting he was a pro at smelting ores to make copper. 
He was a Chalcolithic Rambo. Utsi was short and stocky, around 1.60 cm tall and 61 kg, with strong legs. In 2003, an early study of DNA from Utsi and his belongings claimed to find blood from four different individuals. A protein analysis of his brain reveals some healing, particularly in the form of blood clots, but those could have caused a stroke or embolism. The Iceman also suffered a long, deep stab wound to his right hand. Based on the stage of healing evident from the wound tissue, it occurred between three to eight days before his death. And of course, the arrow lodged in his left shoulder was likely the ultimate cause of death. In short, Utsi was a hunter and a fighter. Utsi was not a vegetarian. The Iceman's stomach contents revealed both his last meal and the meal before that. DNA analysis published in 2002 was based on samples of digested food collected from his colon. Utsi's second to last meal consisted of IBX meat along with various species of cereals and dicus, a group of flowering plants, while for his last meal, he dined on red deer meat and either grasses or cereals. The Iceman had a gap-toothed smile and other bodily anomalies. Between Utsi's top two teeth is a natural, diastema, which is the anatomical term for a gap in the teeth. Among modern adults, about 10 to 20 percent have this gap. Researchers also saw in the Iceman's mouth third molar rageness, the anatomical term for lacking wisdom teeth. Utsi was also missing some bones the smallest of the ribs on either side. This lack of ribs is not unheard of, but it only affects about 5% of the population. You could be related to Tsi, but only if you're a guy. The Iceman's genome was sequenced in 2012, revealing he had brown eyes and O-type blood, was lactose intolerant, and likely had Lyme disease. Another study in 2013, they tested thousands of modern men in the Alps, and discovered that 19 modern men in the sample shared a genetic lineage, with the Iceman. Utsi is cursed. We all know that, every ancient mummy is cursed. So of course the Iceman has his own story. In 2005, rumors circulated that the deaths of at least five people may have been related to a mummy's curse. One of the tourists who initially spotted the Iceman died falling off the side of a mountain. An alpine guide who airlifted the mummy out died in an avalanche. A journalist who filmed the recovery of the mummy died of a brain tumor. A forensic expert who touched Tootsie with his bare hands died in a car accident en route to a conference to talk about the mummy. He has 3D selfies. One of the trends in 3D scanning and printing is to make a selfie or a replica bust of yourself, and Tootsie is no stranger this trend. The mummy has been thoroughly SETI scanned over the years for analysis. Earlier this year, those SETI scans were meshed with digital photographs, 3D printed, and then painted to create three life-size clones.